day, everyone. Welcome to another English class with Mam Bing. We have three objectives for our lesson today. One is differentiate active from passive voice. Two, understand the transformation of active to passive. Three, identify whether the sentence is in the active voice or the passive voice. But before we begin our actual lesson for today, I want you to look at this video for your vocabulary enhancement. Enhance your vocabulary power. There may be words which have the same sound but different meanings. Learn by memory the following words and use them correctly while writing or speaking English. Accept. I accept your offer. Accept. All except Nikki were present. Access. I have no access to the principal. Excess. Excess of everything is bad. Blue. The sky is blue. Blue. He blew the whistle. Cast. The director of the play chose his cast well. Cast. I am Hindu by cast. Dear. Bobby is dear to me. Dear. I saw many deer at the zoo. Did you learn new words and how to use them? That's good! Now, I want you to sit properly, hold tight, and listen well. Let us have a review about the present, the past, and the past participle. I am going to give you the present form or the original form of the verb and you are going to give me the past and its past participle. What is the past form of think? How about its past participle? What is the past tense of eat? What is its past participle? What is the past tense of bring? How about its past participle? What is the past tense of talk? How about its past participle? What is the past tense of take? Tell me what is its past participle. Why am I asking you these questions? It's because today we will be using the past participle of some words for our lesson. So let us proceed to our main topic this morning. I want you to look at this video and understand the words well. Active and passive voice. The verb that expresses the action done by the subject is said to be in the active voice. The verb that expresses what is done to the subject is said to be in a passive voice. A Transitive verb. Verb that has object. 
has two voices. One, active voice. Two, passive voice. In the previous chapter, the tenses, we used the sentences with active voices a verb. Look at the following sentences. Peter reads a book. A book is read by Peter. The shopkeeper is selling apples. Apples are being sold by the shopkeeper. Mickey has plucked flowers. Flowers have been plucked by Mickey. We won the match. The match was won by us. She will arrange a flower show. Our show will be arranged by her. Now, I want you to understand that all the five sentences on table A are all in their active voice. Why? Because the subjects are the doers of the action. Peter reads a book. Who reads the book? It's Peter. The shopkeeper is selling apples. Who is selling apples? The shopkeeper. Mickey has blocked flowers. Who has blocked the flowers? It's Mickey. We won the match. Who won the match? It's we. She will arrange a flower show. Who will arrange a flower show? It's she. However, in table B, all the sentences are all in their passive form because the subject is the receiver of the action and no longer the doer. A book is read by Peter. What is being read? A book. Apples are being sold by the shopkeeper. What are being sold? Apples. Flowers have been plucked by Mickey. What have been plucked by Mickey? flowers the match was won by us what was won by us the match a flower show will be arranged by her what will be arranged by her a flower show that's why all the sentences in table b are in their passive voice Peter reads a book. Peter is our subject. And book is our object. I want you to note also that reads here is in the present tense. This sentence is in the active voice because Peter, which is the subject, is the one reading the book. It is active in the sense that the subject is the doer of the action. How do we transform active into passive? A book is read by Peter. Book is the subject which is the object in the active voice. 
But when we are going to have it in the passive, it becomes the subject. And Peter, which is the subject in the active voice, becomes the object in the passive voice. We are using is because reads in the active voice is in the present tense but is no longer referring to Peter but is already referring to book. Of course, we are going to use the past participle of the verb and to be connected by the word by. So, our passive sentence is A book is read by Peter. Juan I into me Two We into us Three They into them Four He into him five she into her now we are going to transform another sentence into passive voice we won the match since the object becomes the subject in the passive voice our subject will be the match now the verb in the active voice is won, which is in the past form. So to transform that into passive, we are going to add was and the past participle won. Connect it with the by. And since the subject in the active voice is the pronoun we, to make it passive, we're going to transform it into its object form, which becomes us. So our passive sentence is, the match was won by us. Did you get the transformation from active to passive? I hope you did. But if you did not get it, then you can always text or message me so that I will be able to answer your queries. At this point, let me see if you truly understood how to differentiate active voice from passive voice. So I want you to look at the following sentences and write your answers on a piece of paper and send it to my private messenger. Your task is to identify whether the sentence is in its active voice or in its passive voice.
Where are we able to get our objectives for today's English class? Can you now differentiate active from passive voice? Did you understand how an active voice is transformed into passive? Were you able to identify sentences in its passive or active voice? If you answered yes to all three questions, excellently done! Then, you have understood our lesson for today. Next time, I am going to discuss further the subject-verb agreement for the active and the passive voice so that you will truly, truly comprehend when are we going to use the present tense, the past tense, and the progressive tenses of the verb. Thank you very much for watching class and I hope to see you again next time. Have a good day and God bless us all.